little bit closer for that cutscene. That's kind of weird that we were sent back a little bit. Alright. Did I jump on these things? Huh. Apparently I. Which is kind of sad. Huh. Um. Yeah. Huh. So apparently I have to go the other way to get to where I need to go. I'm not even sure where I'm going. I think they said a weapons master guy? I'm not entirely sure. I was trying to pay attention, but I don't know. I was a little confused by everything that's been going on. <gasps> oh, I probably go into the building. That would make a lot of sense. All right. Yep, he's a weapons guy. And I think this is him. We're gonna find out in this cutscene, apparently. All right, Shulk. How are you? Dixon! When did you get back to Colony 9? <laughs> Just now. I see you've been busy. Looks like your Monado research has been going well. I made the right choice leaving you in charge. <laughs> Your research notes really helped. So, you can activate it now, then. Well, anyone can activate it. The problem is controlling it. Yeah, for everyone except him. Yes. If anyone other than Dunban were able to control the Monado, we could surpass any military force in the world. You think so? What are these hidden functions you mention? It's still only conjecture, but it's starting to look like the Monado might be something far more significant than just a weapon for defeating Mechon. I see. And the evidence to support your theory? It's the symbol that appears in the center when it's activated. What I know is, the central piece is made from multi-layered glass. The symbol appears on the top layer, and each layer is constructed differently. So it's possible that other symbols could appear on different layers. Which means... The Monado might conceal even more power. Am I right? If we could just... unlock the Monado's power... Dunban! 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 Don't look like that. I haven't come yet. Oh. Shulk. Monado. It was controlling me. Even so, it saved us. Saved our future. Next, it will be up to you. <gasps> Dunban. Well, I better get the supplies delivered to the defense force. I'll drop round the HQ and see how they're getting on. Okay, then. I'll see you later. Shulk, you're spending too much time in the lab. Either that or rummaging for junk in the scrapyard. It ain't healthy for a kid your age. That's why you're always looking so pasty. You should get out, get some fresh air once in a while. All right, I'm off. <laughs> She lagged him from the short 10 minutes I saw of him. He was pretty cool. Dumbass, are you awake yet? Ah, 
Is it time to eat already? You didn't have to bring it yourself. You could have just called me. Don't be silly. Do you want me to feed you? <laughs> Don't treat me like an invalid. I'm better than I was a year ago. Much better. Oh, I really thought I lost you back then. Yes. But now I'm almost well enough to handle the Monado again. Dumban, don't say that. The Meccan have gone now. Oh, why would you say that? I just mean I'm prepared. Sorry. Okay. More importantly, eat up before it gets cold. I made something really special today. Don't feel like you need to stay here then, Fiora. Go and make your next delivery. Huh? Well, I'm sure you'd like Shulk to try some while it's still hot. That's okay. Shulk has no sense of taste. He'll say it's delicious even if it's stone cold. <laughs> In which case, today he would actually mean it. Hmm, maybe. I'm fine, Fiora. Off you go. Okay. Dumban, thanks. finished yet. I have to be prepared to use the Monado again. Okay, for some reason I thought he died. But he's alive and it looks like we're controlling Fiona or Firo or something. Oh, okay. Oh, she moves fast. Um, but yeah, I thought, uh, Dun Dunben or whatever his name is was dead or something. Hey, Fiora. Dixon. Looks like you're in a hurry. Where are you off to? I just thought I'd take Shulk some food. I'm on my way to the lab. Shulk's not there right now. Really? I just sent him out to get some fresh air. You know where he'll have gone. Outlet Park. That's the one. Okay. Thanks, Dixon. So many cutscenes in this game. And we really aren't even all that far in the game yet. She jumped. She moves really fast. The sound she makes when she jumps, damn. So, where exactly are we going? <coughs> Sounds like she's taking a dump or something. Wait, can she do one thing? Apparently, she can. Huh. Well then, that's kind of interesting. Alright, so where exactly are you going? What's that? Is that it? Alright, I think we have to go out over here. I'm not completely sure, but... I think we may have to go out over here to find him. Do, 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 do. That's right, girl. Make those sounds. Can I jump over him? Oh, yeah. I think I jumped over him. I'm not entirely sure. Um. Oh, yeah. Pepper Hill? Hold on, let me see if I can bring up an actual map. Hold on, journal? Delivering food. Fiora has made something special for Shook. Take it to him before they find Shook and give him the food. Could I jump down? I'm not going to, it's just I'm curious to know if I could if I had it. Ah, uh, let's see. Hmm. I'm not sure, but 
like there I think that's an exclamation mark I'm not sure but if it is that means I do do this dear god don't dear god. how does that lake was not there I mean how high did she just jump that looked a lot higher than it should have Damn, that would have not been a good thing. Hey, what's up? Oh. I don't feel so good. Well, that wasn't way. smart. Look. At all. I'm sorry. I got her killed. That, that, that's horrible. If the leader is in Kansas, okay. So apparently you can get hurt if you fall off a cliff. Hmm. Well. Um. Yeah. <laughs> I am not sure where we go from here. So I will see you guys next time as we head off to find Shook and deliver his food.